Welcome, welcome, everyone to Sensitive TV episode 482. I'm your host, Wiz, and my microphone's way too high. We are going to play a variant of a variant. About 50, 60 weeks ago, we played finish line chess, where pieces could only move forward until they reached the finish line, which is the back rank of the board. Well, I was going to do that again because I completely forgot I did that, but then a viewer said, hey, you already did that, and then he said, have a crazy house finish line chess. Let's go do it. Let's go do it. So crazy house is a chess variant where you can add pieces to the board after you, whoops, that's not what I want to do. Cancel. Go back. Undo. Hmm. Play with a friend. Variant. Crazy house. Oh, no. Yeah, well, casual. Why not? I'm pretty casual. I'm a casual guy. So I'm going to put this link in the chat. If you guys want to play with me right here, right now, you can do that watching live. Twitch.tv slash chesswiz. Crazy house. You capture a pawn. On your next move, you can add that pawn to the board. It becomes your color. Now, finish line chess, making pieces move forward only. Let me let me type up the rules here to this. Um, let me go to my game. Notepad.exe. I love this game. Where's notepad? Hmm. Okay, I've got that open. You just can't see it. Let's open up another tab and go to my secret variants page here and get the rules. Let's see. The rules are pieces may not move backward until they have reached other side, the other side of the board, and then they can move backwards. Okay. If you're watching live right now, take this challenge in the chat. Otherwise, I'm going to appear very stupid and friendless, having had no friends who wish to play. So I'll type help in the chat. So that we get one. Oh, we have a person. Let's fix the view. All right. So you see above my head here, I've got a pawn, a knight, and a bishop, but they're all super dark. That's because if I capture something, my watch will ding and it says a new follower. That's pretty cool. Okay. So pieces may, move, may not move backwards until they've reached the other side of the board. Now, that in chess is very restrictive because pieces like to move around. But in Crazy House, that's not restrictive at all. In Crazy House chess, let me just help you out here. In Crazy House chess, you only move forward because you attack like crazy. Crazy in um, in chess. Let's say someone's attacking you in chess. What do you do? You trade pieces to get the board a little bit more open and empty, so that there's less going on. Maybe you won't get checkmated. But in crazy house chess, if you trade pieces, they have more pieces. Look up here where my mouse is. It's flying way up there. Do you have more pieces that you can add to the board? Trades actually make it harder to defend in crazy house. So let me just show you an example. This game's going to be our first example of how crazy this can get because it's not really modifying crazy house. Now, I have great news. By the way, I changed my water bottle out. This was the new way to solve my water bottle woes. Thanks for the bishop, by the way. Mm. The new way to solve water bottle woes is to change your water bottle. King F8 is the move here. I've been playing Crazy House. Come here, mouse cord. You're annoying me. I actually have this super nice fabric mouse cord. You can't see it. It just looks black. But to me, I see the true soul of this mouse cord. And it's like a fabric-y mouse cord. It's annoying me right now. Get over here, mouse cord. And stop gravitating my mouse away. He wants to take that move back. <gasps> oh, no. Kings can't move. I forgot about kings, guys. This is serious. This is serious business. You can't move your king backwards. That's going to make attacks even stronger. Now, what I've been trying to say, let's just change the topic and talk about this water bottle. My last water bottle, if you've been watching any Chesswiz TV at all, has been smashing my nose in a very disconcerting way. If you notice, I'm completely out of concerts because I've been disconcerted by my water bottle. So I've changed to this large mouth one. Look at this. It's perfect for me because I have a large mouth. Watch what I'm going to do now. I'm going to add this bishop on the board. Mm. Mm. So I can drink days worth of water in one gulp, thanks to the large mouth. And no more nose smashing, because by the time I've tipped it, I'm drowning and the game's over. Okay, let's just take this. Mm. Now I can take this, and if I calculate this correctly, he cannot move backwards. So his knight can't actually recapture me. So this is going to be pretty crazy. Let's do it. This is actually... Mm. The focus of the show right now is on the water bottle. By the way, if you're ever thinking of streaming, be sure you have a source of water, a lake, a stream, a river, or a water bottle nearby because you're going to get thirsty if you do any talking. Now, there are people out there who don't do any talking when they stream. They just stare at the screen and make super, super, super good chess moves. I have a different technique. What I do is make awful chess moves, but I talk a lot, so that's how I make up for that. I'm seeing a problem here that I'm going to get destroyed, so let's put this pawn right here so that we don't get destroyed. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right. So if I take this... What is he doing? Uh, I don't know. Thanks for the night. Uh, if I take this, his bishop can't go backwards. So more, more talk about the bottle, though. Mm. I'm really hitting the bottle. Last episode, I kind of had a drinking problem, but now I'm hitting the bottle. 
Wow, great puns, Chesswiz. That's fantastic. So what if I were to put a knight right here? <laughs> That's what I kind of want to do. Now, I've learned a lot about Crazy House. Let's stop talking about, whoops, don't do that. You'll lose your knight for nothing. He could take it. So let's let's get this bishop guarding here. Mm. We're done talking about bottles and making jokes about drinking. Because I'm going to run out of this. Now we're going to talk about Crazy House. For the last month or so, I have been obsessively focused on either water bottles or crazy house. I don't remember which one. Is this a good move? Probably not, because if he takes, I have to move forward. <sighs> Pretty scary. Let's let's check him maybe or or knight here. What do you think? What do you think? Nobody knows. His queen. <laughs> I'll just put this here. Because he can't do anything. His queen is like, ah, it can only go this way. In fact he might. No, he's he's dead. Do I need to add time? Crepuscular. Make bad moves faster. Cause I'm having to add you time, which is also disconcerting. So I'm actually thinking about taking this, he takes, taking it again, he takes, because drawing his king out is a very artistic thing to do. Get it? Drawing? Okay, never mind. So then I can checkmate him. That sounds good to me. All right, so here we go. Here we go with the checkmates. Taking a pawn is doubly useful. First of all, he has one fewer pawns, but also I have one more pawn because I can drop this. So as I was saying, in the last month or so, I've been obsessing over Crazy House. My goal is to capture all of everything on the chessboard here. My goal, oh, I'm now going to really win this game. That's fantastic, is to hit 2,000 rated. You can see I'm 1941 right now. I started at about 1,800, 1,820 about a month ago, and I focused on improving. Every game I made good moves. That's how focused I was. Uh, I guess I could take this. And then win. Yeah, this this is going to win. So once you reach the back rank, by the way, as you can see, until they have reached the other side of the board, I am now a super knight that can move backwards, which is kind of dumb, but this is checkmate. So good enough. I think this is going to be checkmate. Yeah. So he moves. I add a rook here. Then he moves, and I promote my pawn. Checkmate. Because I'm on the back rank, I can now take your king. Woot. So I just defeated Crepuscular in a very startling game. I actually am startled still. I loved this move, this bishop takes f7 move, because my king couldn't move backwards. King f8 is what you're supposed to play there, um, according to me. I just should say, according to me, after every claim I make, then I can't be wrong. Like, for example, lettuce is sometimes green and sometimes purple, according to me. Or is that kale? Yes, it's kale, according to me. You can't tell a lie unless you're lying. I suppose, by just adding that to every sentence. I bet I would become a very pleasant person if I just said that every sentence. That'd be great. So sideways moves are allowed, in case you're wondering, joining in, wondering about the rules. Kings can move sideways, as can non-kings. Those are the two kinds of pieces that can move sideways. So that's gone really well. Let's pull up my profile here. This is my profile on lichess.org, and click on crazy house. Now take a look at my three-month graph here in crazy house. First of all, there's me being crazy, and I hit a low of 1802, which is really bad. I'm going to change this view so you can see it better. See? Look what's happening behind my head. You can't see back there. All the way up to 1963. My goal, and I'm so focused on this goal that I'm actually changing the view back. My goal here is to, hey, he's getting into some serious beeswax with his queen. Like, it's way out in the middle. That can't be good for queens, right? That's got to be bad. Is he going to check me? I, I think this is good for me. Um, what was I saying? 1963. So I might even stream just Crazy House. If I do that, I will definitely play some music that will give you a headache at the same time, just to keep the show interesting. And it's not even going to be at the normal time, Sundays at 1 p.m. EST. At some random time, we'll be like, hey, it's a random time. Guess I'll stream some Crazy House and some headache music. So be sure to follow on Twitch if you haven't done that, twitch.tv slash chesswiz, because who knows when I'm going to click that button and start streaming. And by the way, the notification for that it says, ChessWiz went live. You actually get an email if you sign up for that. I really want to block this. I really, really want to block it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. So it seems like he could take this and then take this or this way and get an extra pawn. But in crazy house, pawns don't matter. Checkmates matter. So I don't know if this is actually a good idea for him. More water, please. Mm. Thank you very much, ChessWiz. So I've played hundreds and hundreds of Crazy House games over the course of my life in an attempt to become 2,000 rated. And as you can see, I've nearly succeeded. And by that, I mean I have not succeeded. Let's see how we're doing here. We're getting a destroyed. I think the best move is rook this way. That's how the best players pronounce it. Now, rook is moving to g1. 
why. Because I heard once that if somebody puts his pawn here on h3 or h6 or a3 or a6, it's very symmetrically uh, oriented rule, then the correct move is to rook g1, even if your king is there. Now, if you've castled and your king is there, no problem. Just move your rook on top of your king, and you'll be doing great. So that's generally the, the idea that I follow when I'm playing crazy house chess. So now he's going to try to win this pawn for free. I don't think it's a good idea for him. He's also running out of time. Crepuscular, you got to make your bad moves faster. So I could check it. Uh, I could also put a pawn here, check. That looks pretty deadly, actually, because I have captured all this random stuff, and now it's time to destroy him with it. So let's just do that, or maybe check him first and then do that. Uh, let's let's do that, this first, okay? Because that's going to pull his king up, and he can't go backwards. Whoa! Oh, this is going to go great. What do I do next? I'll, 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 I don't know. I'll take this knight. Oh, he's, he's going sideways. It's a new technique known as the sideways movement technique. What if I go here? And then when he takes me, I put a knight here, which forces him to go up, which is the worst way. This is going to be great. He's not going to recapture with the pawn, though. He's going to. Um, yes, yeah, so I've cleverly put my hook right here, so he can't actually put his knight on top of it. That's the rule. Don't run out of Oh, he's, he's fallen into my trap. This is going to be great. Here, come on out. Check how it is in the middle of the board. It's really great out here. Come join me. I'm actually not going out there. I'm just putting pieces out there, which... He loses. So he has to go here, and then I'm going to check him. And then he has to go here, because if he adds something, I just take it. And then I will put a pawn here, which is checkmate. So that's what I'm going to do. He wants to lose one more time, so Crepuscular, come fight the whiz and lose. Actually, you'll get second place, which isn't that bad. Let's try this. So thanks to the fact that it's casual, it doesn't matter what I do, it's casual, right? My rating could go up or down, but it won't. It's going to stay the same. So let's Take him out of his opening book. This is what you want to move if you want to make the guy forget everything he knows about openings because he's going to be like, what is this opening? It's not in my dictionary. So he'll just lose. So this is pretty good. I think this is going to throw him off for sure. Okay, we got a question in the chat from Mr. T. By the way, Mr. T, I would like to say thank you for joining in. Last week, I saw you saying something in the chat box, and I was so indifferent because I'd never heard of you before. But then, this week, I remember you from last week, and suddenly, we got a connection. Mr. T and I were totally T. T. What does that even mean? Is that like for a teacher? Like Mr. Teacher? That doesn't sound that amazing. I don't know. Anyway, we're something, and I appreciate you joining. And the question is, what about a forced move backwards of a king? Does it loose the game? Mr. T, I have a message for you. That's not how you spell lose. For all you people out there on the internet, which is everybody who tries to type the word lose, it only has one O. Look it up. It really only has one O. Lose has one O. Oh, now if you want to type loose, be my guest. Put as many O's as your heart desires. You can just continue adding O's. In fact, whenever you type loose with two O's, I say loose out loud, which is, by the way, why I say loose so much. I'm going to loose the game. And then I've started like building a mental imagery of loosening something. So, oh, I could take this this way. That'd be brilliantly stupid. What if I put a pawn here, forcing the knight to move, and then let's not do it yet. And then when it moves, I'll say him. But what if he went here? That would be really bad. So let's, let's, uh, let's just continue developing my pieces. This is very dangerous because he could add a pawn here. But you know what I'm going to do? Rook! Rook g8! No problem. That's why I'm not going to castle because it's illegal to play Rook g8 after I castle. So this has now solved my problems. Thank you, by the way, for taking that knight. I think that helped me. Now I have two bishops to add. See that? See that two up there? You can't see it. It's too tiny and I can't point because I'm turning on mirror mode. There it is. Okay, don't take a screenshot of that. That bishop with the two on it I'm going over here now. This is pretty cool. Queens can do that. I don't dare advance. If I go forward, I can't go back, so I'm not going to go forward. Um, that, too, means I have two of something to add. Whenever you have two of something to add in Crazy House, I learned this after just like 850 hours of playing Crazy House, is whenever you have two of something, you should put one of them on. Like, for example, right now I have two bishops, so I'll just put one on. Okay. The reason for that is you can't add the second one until you add the first one. Does this make any sense? Yeah, this definitely makes sense. So in a given turn, you can say, oh no, I'm getting pinned and forked at the same time. Or you can just look on the bright side and castle, king g8. I wanted to say, but it was king. 
Okay, so you want to have a lot of different options. For example, I could do this, or I could do this. See all those options? Many, many options. However, when you have a two there, that doesn't increase the number of options. I mean, you could add the pawn that's in the front of the stack of the two pawns, or you could add the pawn that's in the back of the stack of the two pawns, and they're the same move. So the goal, oh, I'm cheating. So let's try that move again without cheats. Let's go here. <laughs> oh, I'm moving forward. What's going to happen? I'm going to get... I'm going to get old is what's going to happen. So how do you like this? <laughs> Maybe that wasn't smart. I told you it was smart, so it has to be. Okay, I'm coming out now. Taking advantage of my bishop guarding my bishop, which doesn't happen that often. If you've played much chess, you've probably noticed you haven't done much bishop guarding with bishops, but you can't. So now add stuff. The other thing you want to do, let's do a pawn, is always add stuff. Because let's say you've got a great collection of things up there, like a knight, a rook, a bishop, a rook, another queen, you know, that kind of stuff. Okay, so if I take this... He takes my queen, and I take him. Oh, 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 oh you moves forward. This is going to be so great. Hmm. I could go this way, too, and get a knight. What's better, a knight or a queen? Does anyone remember? Uh, let's let's try the queen. If that doesn't work, we'll just request a take back. This guy's pretty generous. And we'll get a knight. Oh, he doesn't want to move forward. I think that's a critical error. You should probably want to move forward. Uh, so if I take this rook... That's meh. So let's take this pawn. Isn't that right? Or we could checkmate him. That's an alternative idea. How would we do that? Put a queen here. Take, 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 take. We'd have a knight then, and we can't really add it. Let's go after this knight. If we could take this knight, then we could put our queen here, which would be pretty deadly. There is a free rook, but hey, what's better, a rook or a pawn? I don't know, so I'm not going to take that. Let's just try to get a knight. So if you have your bank full of good things to take, what well, the problem with that? Let me tell you about the problem with that. You can only add one of them. So let's say it's my turn right now, just hypothetically. I can add one of these things. Now, one of the things I can't add is all of these things. See how restrictive that is? I'm just going to take this because <laughs> he's starting to get super owned here. So that's good for me since I'm his opponent. Let's just put a bishop here. Now, I could, I could move my bishop there, but when you have your bank full, for those of you who want to get better at Crazy House, do this. Empty your bank. You want to start putting stuff on right away. Don't waste time. Okay, that's that's what you want to do because otherwise you can't get it all out on the board. It's going to take me like six moves to put this on the board. Do you think I have six moves? No, I'm going to checkmate him in about five moves. So I don't have six moves. So I want to start adding stuff immediately. Now what I see is that he's coming out into the center. Come exploring with me. Oh, this is a very interesting center we have here. Come on out. It's going to be great. Uh, <laughs> Come on over here. You can't move backwards, so this is going to be pretty amusing. In just a moment, I'm going to get pretty amused. Oh, keep on moving. Keep on moving. You can't go backwards. Oh, man, you have to go forwards. No problem, man. I'll go forwards. Oh, you seem to be checkmated. You can't go there or 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 there. So that's going to be checkmate. Cool. So I win again. Now, the reason I won that game is because I've been practicing Crazy House. It's not because I'm good at this variant. Luckily for me, this variant doesn't change the rules that much of Crazy House, so this is basically Crazy House. And I was thrilled. Thank you, Corpuscular. I'm going to create a challenge in the chat, and if you're the fastest clicker, we can definitely play again. But I want to give people who are watching right now, or I should say person, because this is not a big show. I want to give the person who's watching right now a chance to join in instead of Corpuscular. Mm. Oh. I just drank like half an hour of water. Mm. Mm. This is great. This is great. <clears throat> Doesn't change the rules to Crazy House, as I was saying. Mm. I think I should change on Twitch. It says right now Chess Wiz is streaming chess. I should probably change that to be like Chess Wiz is streaming drinking water. Which I would watch. I mean, if you got a choice between a guy playing chess and a guy drinking water, let's be honest, they're about equally interesting. So just for variety, you should go for the water. Mm. The only thing worse than playing chess is watching somebody else play chess. I mean, talk about boring. I went to a chess tournament once. It was like watching grass grow. People weren't even making chess moves. They were just sitting there looking at the chess board. I think some of the players were asleep, and then some of them were drinking water, so I just watched that. Well, we have nobody watching the show, so Crepuscular, I'd be happy to invite you back. Cre... How do you spell that? By the way, in a recent stream, I told people a lie. 
but not really lying because I didn't know it wasn't true. There's two kinds of lying. There's lying that smart people do, which is like, this isn't even true, and I'm going to say it, Dr. Dopez. You just ruined my invitation. However, there's the second kind of lying, which is the one I do, which is being completely clueless and saying false things. And that's the kind of lying I did recently. I told you guys that crepuscular means active at night, but it means active at dawn or dusk which are complicated four-letter D words. I don't generally say four-letter D words on this show, so I'm not going to tell you what dawn or dusk means, but it doesn't mean night. So now that I've cleared that up, I hope that your life has been righted. There are some costs to watching Chesswiz TV. One is that you will never get anything done in your life because there's so much content. And then the other cost is you'll have the completely wrong idea about what crepuscular actually means. Let's double-check with Dr. Dopez that he's going to play this variant. Because if he's not, I don't think I want to play this. He's in. So let's <laughs> let's send his king to its death. Here we go. Uh, you want to move forward? Because if you... <laughs> oh, come on, man! All this effort, and you're just going to move sideways. Uh, should I save my bishop? No, that's so boring. I need to keep this interesting. I'm already streaming chess, so I'm... Definitely fighting an uphill battle on keeping things interesting. We got a comment in the chat right now from Enlisco. He says, hey, Chesswiz, thanks for the broadcast. It's been a while since I've joined you live. It's funny how live and live are pronounced the same, but I'm pretty sure he says, it's been a while since I've joined you live. And I agree. I do live. <laughs> now that's a funny chat. There's a chat in the stream. Right now, if you're on YouTube, you can't see the chat. Can I turn the chat on? Let's do that. Click. Okay, everybody chat something right now because I'm going to press. I'm going to make a chess move here. Um, he's going to try to take my mission. So let's just save that. Who cares about the board? I'm going to click plus, and then I'm going to click um, window capture. I'm using OBS Studio in case you're wanting to become a cool streamer. And let's put, let's call it chat. And let's make the window be called Chrome Twitch. Is that it? My opponent is proposing a take back, probably because I cheated. Oh, all that effort, and I've cheated. Well, I'm looking for the window with the chat in it. Is it called Chrome Twitch? I think it is. So let's do that one. Bam, that big black box. Okay, that's pretty cool. A big black box has covered up my stream. So apparently I don't know how to use OBS Studio, unless I need to add big black boxes. Now, if you ask me how to add a big black box to a stream, I can tell you that. Now, adding a chat box... I don't know about that, but if you ever need a big black box, just send me a message on Lichess. My username is CheeseWiz here. You can send me a message, and I'll be sure to get back to you never because you spelled chess was wrong. Let's start checkmating this guy. Quick before I say anything stupid. So KT in the chat says, ChessWiz, does your wife get a word in edgewise? You know, it's a very strange thing about talking. It's completely optional, and I am a complete introvert. Complete. Like, put me in a room with nobody, and I won't say a word. I will be in last place in terms of number of words said in that room. Now, if you add other people, I might say something, but I'm more likely to just listen. And generally speaking, I find that listening is very powerful. Very, very powerful. Let me tell you why. This is going to be a pro-life tip. One of those PLTs, if you know what I mean. Are you ready for this PLT, this pro-life tip? I made up that acronym, by the way. Uh, where's the checkmate? I could use a checkmate about now. Uh, there isn't one. Oh, there is check, but my knight just moved forward, so let's get this other knight going. I'll put my other knight right here. His king is moving forward. Okay, this is good, this is good. He's almost checkmated. Oh, this is going to be checkmate, isn't it? Okay, so this is checkmate. Oh, that's anticlimactic. Checkmate. I just sent a bunch of eyes while I burped. I actually maybe have never done that before in my entire life. That's a bunch, also known as two eyes. Let's send a smiley face now just to make you feel a little, a little freaked out by that colon. So he can't move backwards because of the chess rules, and he can't move forward because of the evil knights, which is crepuscular, by the way, not, not active at night. I, I put knights on to demonstrate what crepuscular doesn't mean. So I hope that was clear to you. Dr. Dopez, I want to play you again. If you want to play, I want to change up the opening a little bit because I noticed you memorized that opening. So thank you. Well played. Oh, my buttons are gone. Um, so I'll also paste this. What does this say? Dr. Dope, what? Cool. I'll just type cool. Uh, does that say cool? Kind of. Uh, does he want to play again? Maybe not. Well, let's see if I have any more friends. Let's go back to Lee Chess. 
This is, by the way, pronounced liches, L-I chess is pronounced liches. Let's put that in the chat here. So we're coming back to the PLT, the pro-life tip, which is don't say anything ever. It's super powerful. Like, let's say you're in a room with other people, and they're all talking about, uh, say, let's say they're arguing about a specific topic, such as whether God exists or what to eat for dinner, just, you know, for example. So let's say they're, we got to pick one. So let's say they're arguing about what to eat for dinner. And for 10 minutes, they're arguing like, chicken, no, we shouldn't kill birds. No, we should because they're already dead. No, that goes against the teachings of the Buddha. And so they're like, I don't know what to do. So you sit there for 10 minutes. That's super, super powerful. What you're doing is you're building up your power just by being there. Now, if you're not there, you're not building up power. Like I tried not going to a group of people who were talking about what to eat for dinner and my power level didn't change. So you definitely have to go and be there while they talk. So after they argue for a while and they're getting nowhere because different people think different things, this is a tragedy of humanity, by the way. What we need to do is to get everybody to think the same thing and then problems would be solved. But right now, different people are thinking different things. It's chaos. And so what we do is we just sit there. And then after a long time, after the power is sufficiently built up, uh-oh, I just noticed I'm playing a game of Crazy House with Ron Depp, who is a legendary Swiss man. He's from Switzerland. Look, look at this. See what that says? Switzerland. Super. They're super good at chess in Switzerland. So you got to watch out for that. Uh, oops, I said okay without the question mark. So after your... Nah. Ah. You got to make the message different. So that's definitely different. If you type... <laughs> I don't feel like I'm communicating properly. Never mind. Winking face. I hope that I've communicated my message now appropriately. So in this chess variant, you can't move backwards until you've reached the last rank. Back to what's important. The power is fully built up. Then you open your mouth and you say just a few words. Just, just exactly what you want to say. You don't go on and on and on. That reduces your power. You just say something like this. Like just for example, you say, God exists. Or... Depending on the topic, you'd say, let's have the chicken. Okay, it's one of those. I mean, you don't, you don't want to mix it up. If they're arguing about dinner, you don't want to come out with your philosophical epiphany. You want to be on topic. You know what I mean? And vice versa, if, if they're arguing about the existence of God, you probably don't want to announce, let's have the chicken. So make sure you're context sensitive. And after doing that, oh, we're still playing chess here. Okay, so the strategy now is to take this pawn and then we're going to put it right here because this is pinned. This is something I did yesterday and it worked great. I lost, but it worked great and then I lost. Okay. So, ooh, he's coming forward. So now we do this and his knight can't move backwards. So this is great. This is working perfectly. So I have the option of coming down here with my queen, but I don't have to do it. I could do something else. I don't even know what to do. I guess I'll come down here with my queen. Uh, okay. That seems reasonable. Nope. We're going to put the pawn here as planned. We'll just come down here with my queen later. Oh, I really wish I had put my queen down there because he can move his bishop here or add a bishop here. And I don't have a great, there, that's what he's doing. He's adding stuff. So I'm going to get this pawn and then I'm going to add it. Hold on, I have to focus a little bit. And by saying very, very few words, I don't know why this is the case. It's just the law of the universe, just like how things fall downward when you let go of them usually. The same law applies to the room of people who are near you saying nothing. The, the power grows according to the laws of silent power. I think that's the name of the law. And then when you speak, you carry weight. Figuratively speaking, I have not managed to carry weight in real weight terms. It's just like a figurative weight is what you carry. And that's very powerful. So I want you to try that the next time you have a group of people who are either arguing about God or chicken. You can use it in either situation, really. Depending on the situation, one or the other is going to be more useful to you at the time. And then what you do is... Bam, you come out there by saying nothing, and then bam, you're still saying nothing. And then 10 minutes later, like bam, you're still saying nothing. And then wham, bam, you are saying nothing some more because that's kind of how it works, right? You just keep saying nothing. And then, and then wham, wham, bam, and then you're like, the chicken is super powerful. Trust me. Um, this, is, this is bad, actually, because if I add something and he takes it, oh, I should have added something and he takes it. Let's see what we can do to this guy. Let's put the pawn on here with check. And then let's, he's, he's looking pretty hurt. It's a good thing we're playing casual. I would hate to take Rondep's 2,200 rating points. Mm. So he's definitely, definitely getting checkmate here. Oh, I should have put a rook here, but I still can. I can do that next. Let's do that right now. Hmm. This is getting pretty 
opponent right here because he can't move his king backwards. So we're coming into a checkmate here. Uh, this is going to destroy his face because he can't move backwards. <laughs> KF8 was hacks. Oh, that's true. You can't move King F8. He resigns also because he was cheating. So you can't move your king back. What you have to do here is move your king sideways or forward, both of which are brutal in case you're wondering. So let me just show you how I'm winning. He goes here. I add my bishop here. Then he has to take it. Then I add my rook here. Now, putting something on the board won't help him because I'll just take that because I've been to the back rank. I can then move backwards. So he has to take this knight. Then I play here, which is checkmate. So that's how I would have won. Let's play with Rondep again. I'm feeling overpowered because I've won every single game so far this stream. The secret, by the way, is to play Crazy House because, as I mentioned, I'm focusing on that. And also playing people several hundred points below me in rating. That's another way to win. By the way, I found this foolproof, foolproof way to win at chess. It, it works for everyone except for one person. And let me tell you what it is. What you do is you first find someone worse than you and then you play them. It works so well. And then you win, man. You don't have to, like, improve your skills or nothing. That's way too much work. You just find someone bad, really bad. Now, the one person it doesn't work for, and this is kind of a tragedy, is the worst chess player in the world. For that person, they can't do step one, find someone worse. I mean, maybe they could, like, hit someone with a large rock, cause some brain damage, and then they will no longer be the worst chess player in the world. However that being illegal, probably they can't do anything about it. But most of us aren't the worst chess player in the world. Let's be honest, it's pretty unlikely. If you are, you kind of should be proud of it just because of how unlikely that is. And so you can use this strategy to win at chess. It's pretty good. Okay, so what's going on in the chat right now? People are talking. We've got Rondep is a legend. I agree with that. Your message was circular. I don't remember that. A pawn back, sorry. Pieces do not include pawns. Uh, wow, Rondep, cheat detected, King F8, world domination. That's the comment I was looking for. World domination. I totally agree. Uh, I'll take this, I guess. I don't really want to take this. Uh, in Crazy House Chess, pawns get better as they advance. So you don't want his pawns to advance. Like you would think in chess, like this wouldn't be that great. Your pawn is getting vulnerable. It's out there in the fifth rank. But actually, if it were to just come in like this, it'd be like, yes, my pawn is so advanced. In Crazy House, that's good. I don't know why yet. I just noticed that when my pawns get advanced, I win. So that's nice. We have a few more moves here in this game before we start the next game. That's what it looks like to me. I'm tempted to play F6. But it would be stupid, so let's resist that temptation. The problem, I think, is he would put his bishop here. I would take it, and then he would take that. And then when I take it, my king can never go backwards. you got to watch out for that. So that's why I'm not playing f6 now. I will instead do these things. Hey, look, my pawn advanced. Now my queen advanced. Dangerous. He just did a thing. So I could add my knight here. What do you guys think of that? Stupid or really stupid? Hmm. It forks him. But he gets an awful lot of knights. So, but knights can't go backwards. <laughs> okay, I'm doing it because of what else can I do, man? These are my choices. Which one of these is the least bad? All of them look 100% bad. So we're just going to compound, double down. And we got a knight under attack. Let's put another knight under attack. Now we've got twice as many knights under attack. But it's his turn, so I don't have to think about any of this. I can just think about my beautiful water bottle, which uh, is not on the chessboard right now. It kind of is, if you count that. You notice it's kind of covering up B8. Oh, no, my water bottle's on the chessboard. I have to think about this game. Okay, so I'm going to take that. And now he's getting destroyed. So this is fantastic. Once again, destroying Rondep. This is thanks, by the way, to good moves on my part, bad moves on his. Those are the two secrets of victory, as far as I can tell. So this is one option. Let's think about that briefly. Uh, because his king can't go backwards, it has to go here, and then we add the rook here, which is checkmate. Hmm, checkmate, but it's, it's checkmating him. That's the key. Because if you're just playing chess, you're like going for a checkmate, but it turns out you checkmated you. No, don't do that. It's all about checkmating him. So because his king can't go backwards, let's just send him a yaw, because that's how you say yes in Swiss, right? Is Swiss a language? Yes, it is, and yaw is how you say yes. Well played. Fix. Let's send him fix, which is how you say Thank you in the language of Swiss. Rondep, would you like to play one more? Last game. One more. Uno mas. That's how you say one more in Swiss. Let's see what's going to happen here. I think we're going to play another game with Rondep, and then we're going to end the show. Because basically, I haven't lost yet. And wouldn't this be a cool, cool show if I never, whoops, wrong pawn, lost 
a chess game in the entire show. Wouldn't that be great? You would probably think, if you heard from a guy and he said to you, hey, you ever heard of Chess Wiz TV? He'd be like, yeah, I've seen that. And then he'd be like, did you know there's an episode where Chess Wiz doesn't lose any games? You would probably think that that's the episode where Chess Wiz couldn't get connected to the internet, so he didn't play any chess. That's probably what you would think. However, you'd be wrong. It was Crazy House Finish Line Chess, if I win this game. That's what I'm going for right now. Now, it's probable that Ron Depp is actually trying to make me lose. So that's not an alignment of interests. But hopeful. what about that? What about this? Wouldn't this be great? I think this would be pretty great. Let's do it. It's so bad in regular Crazy House because you can move backwards. But oops, don't do that. But maybe I should. Maybe I should throw away my knight. He takes it. And then discover an attack, right? Because what is he going to do? Take, take a pawn? He's, he's getting into danger if he does that because he can't go backwards. Oh, this is chin-scratchingly good. What about d4 right now? Oh, d4, it's just do it because it loses a pawn and in crazy house chess, you want to lose things. That's the strategy. I'm going to go on square. I can't convince myself to lose things. Hmm. D4 might have been the best move. So by the way, if you want to get good at crazy house, like clearly I am since I win all my games, the key is to first play a bunch of crazy house. There's three, there's three parts. First, play a bunch. Secondly, watch good players. And you can do that anytime there's good players watching. Because if you go to this website, lichess.org, and then down on the lower left, which is near that glowy spot, right down here, you can click on this chessboard. And then you can click on crazy house in this list if you can and look at this katask is currently 2778 and you can just watch him play he's playing against the bullfrog which is fantastic way to get better at crazy house just watching good players so you got to play a lot you got to watch good players and the third thing you must do if you don't do this you won't improve as well that sounds tragic well here's what's going to happen you're going to do this and this is what this is are you ready i'm forgetting hold on it's analyze your games with the computer. After the game's over, you can click analysis board. You click that, and then you click request a computer analysis. And then, after that, hey, look, I'm defending myself. Mm. Spicy. He gave me a free queen. Now, I think I could put this queen right here because he can't go back, right? <laughs> so he's in super big trouble. This is great. Um, you look at where you could have made better moves. Like you start at the opening. The best thing to do because Crazy House has crazy openings is to start at the opening and see where you first made a big blunder, which is typically move two for me, but it can be different for different people. <gasps> Whoa, I better not go that way. We're going to go over here because if we come out, we're never going to survive that. We're just going to hide, okay? Now we're both in danger. But I could take a knight if it shows up here. If a rook shows up here, I'll just take it with my queen. And then when I'm not in check anymore, I'll destroy him. So let's do that. <sighs> okay. Yeah, you pull up the computer help and you see where you could have played better. And that'll really teach you openings a bit better, which is the important part of Crazy House. And also just like the ideas that you use in Crazy House. And I suggest those, those same things for chess too, if you want to get better chess. Now, I don't know why you'd want to get better chess, but if you do, that's what you do. Okay, he's coming out. So now we, I don't know. We keep checking him. What was that sound? That was Katask. Uh, now we put this here. Um, <laughs> what's happening? <laughs> Help, how do you checkmate opponents? I don't know. Um, put a bishop here. This should work. I think this is going to work because he can't move. <laughs> What a finish. That's checkmate. And let's send him lots of love. L-O-L. -L. Lots of love to you, Rhonda. Wow, I enjoyed winning every game. I hope you did too. Post in the comments which of these games was your favorite because I liked all of them because I won all of them. But you didn't even play in them, so you might have some specific favorite. Thank you for joining. By the way, if you go to chesswiz.tv, chesswiz.tv, you can go find out what's coming up next. Like Contamination Chess is coming up next. And by the way, you have to spell chesswiz like this, which is super hard. So you deserve to see what's coming up next if you go to that website. So do that anytime. You can see what's coming up next. That's pretty cool. This has been Chesswiz TV. Thanks for watching.